might be young at heart, but we're still dreaming. Eyes wide open, leave this place behind. No matter what they say, yeah, because we're strong. Okay, guys. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to put my nose up to this friggin' bottle. I really don't. Ugh. I mean, even if it is Crown Royal, would I really drink it? Would I? Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Can't believe I'm touching this with my hands. In case it's pee. <laughs> I don't know. That looks like Crown Royal. Maybe watered down if it is. But after it's sat all winter anyways, it won't have any pee on it. Drink it. Take a sip. Or just smell it. <laughs> I'm not drinking this shit no matter what. Huh? Now that's booze. Yeah, it's. Okay, let's shake it up so I get some. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shake it up so I get some fumes off of it here. <laughs> it's not pee. Well, what if it's a mixture? Oh, God, what if it's a mixture? Okay, you ready? Oh, I got it on my finger. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, that's crown oil. Okay. No, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. What if there's pee in it? Honest to God, if I knew that was Crown Royal, I'd sit here with you guys and I'd drink the whole thing. And then we'd go for a walk and see what kind of shit we'd get into. But I don't know what you guys said. I'll check the comments and see. But you wouldn't fucking drink it. I ain't drinking it either. But it's, it is Crown Royal. I think it has water in it. Or, or somebody put pee in it. <laughs> Anyway, guys, on that note, I'll do my goodbyes right here. Anyways, guys, look at this day. It's pretty gorgeous. A calm section of the kicking horse. Beautiful. No fishies. I'm on a I'm on an outcrop here, so I'm gonna be a little careful. I don't see any fishies. Well, anyways, let's go for a little walk and, uh, yeah, we'll see what we find. <coughs> I ain't drinking it. Hello! The hell, what's going on? Look at this weather. Friggin' hell. But it's warm, so that counts for something, I guess. Anyway, guys, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny. Uh, Sunday's supposed to be sunny. So, yeah, got a flight planned. Hopefully it all goes to plan. Whenever these systems come and go, we usually have a day of wind with it, but I checked windy. It's not really calling for it, so uh, with any luck at all. Hmm. Uh, that's a good cup of coffee. So guys, I am going to do the comparison between the X1 and the Bullocks. So let's go over here and have a look.
white guys. As you can see, I guess, geez, you know, looking at it, the height is not much different, really. The width is about the same. Because I think the cages are identical, to be honest with you. Actually, let's grab a tape measure. So mine is 69 and a half inches. Oh, hell, they're ex exactly the same height. So I had said in my last video, I think, that one was higher than the other, maybe, but not so. I wonder why I thought that. Oh, I know, because Troy was buying a trailer that he wanted. Mine, I have to take the trike, and when I pull it up into the trailer, I just pull the nose of the trike up so it drops the cage back down, and then I can pull it up into the trailer. Troy didn't want to do that. He bought a bit bigger trailer. His rolls free again. That's what it was. Mm -mm. Okay, so the differences between the X1 and the Bullocks. So if you check this out, the Bullocks is one, two, three, four and a half wide. And the X1 is one, two, three, four, five, almost six wide. I only noticed that on the way back over here that his is a lot wider at the bottom. So, um, yeah, stability wise, it has a really good footprint on the ground. Super, super hard to tip it over. It can be done, but it's pretty decent. So, looking at mine, looking at my seat, and like I said before, it's, it's well comfortable enough. And like really, that's the only real difference is the suspension in the back. So Troy's is with the bungees. So super, super soft ride, like it's plush. And then you add in, look, look at that. Creature comfort. The back of this seat, man, is like two inches thick, and his fuel tank, look at the size of it compared to mine. Mine's tiny. He apparently can do nine hours airtime on this tank. Troy has his battery mounted just slightly different than mine, and, it, and that's a difference in the trike. But this seat, I kid you not, guys. Oh, it's like being in heaven. It really is. This thing is comfortable. I find, I think this, the bars on his might be just a little bit wider. So I find, you know, it's my arms are out a little bit farther. I suppose you could do this, but Troy has no problem with it. He's got push to talk on his radio here. And yeah, same kind of a setup. Troy's got his hook knife, his thing for his radio, and everything all mounted on here, similar to mine. He put a couple of outlets in for plugging in his, uh, his gloves. So, and he right now is sitting at 61 hours on this trike. So, so, but just compare this now, guys. Look at my tiny little hoop. My head sits about here, so this isn't really going to uh, protect me in a rollover. I, all of this is going to have to do it, just the cage. Look at the protection. In a rollover, his head sits about here. So you could literally land this thing right upside down, and you're, you're protected. So, And uh, you want to talk about crash management and crumple zone? You don't even crumple. Well, the cage would crumple and you could hit this, but I guarantee you could land right upside down in this thing and you'd be fine. Um, it's pretty light. One bar going back. Now look at Troy's. Huge construction, man. Look at the size of this. That's like two and a half inch tube. His extends from here and goes out. He has... Uh, the um, cruise control as well. 
his straps that take the weight go right down to here but look at this thing how it's built look how sturdy with the big tube up through here great big tube going back across with supports coming up the body of this thing is just crazily overbuilt and is that a bad thing how can it be a bad thing it's a little extra weight i forget what the weight difference was i'll find out and let you know troy mounted a little bag under here for taking a an emergency beer in case we land out for lunch somewhere first aid kit and all that kind of stuff again his reserve mounts on the side slightly different than mine but it just mounts straight on the side of there and i think for sure his cruise control is a lot easier to get at than mine because it's right beside you so yeah bigger tubes up top for sure so engines are mounted this is the same as mine his is just easier to see with the two big rubber guys and then it pivots down into this thing like i was talking about last time so but yeah crazy super cool nice and bouncy so it's a bigger machine but you know it doesn't look bigger really at the end of the day and if I had it to do over again, I probably would have went with the X1. It's just so damn comfortable. But, but I'm comfy in mine, so yeah. Which would you choose? They're both great trikes. Super, super cool. The X1. The Bullocks. Right in the old Bullocks there, mate. A pair of sexy machines. Hopefully we'll be flying these sexy beasts tomorrow. Kind of have a bit of a trip planned. Should be pretty cool. I'm not going to quite let the cat out of the bag. But, yeah, guys, so... Oh, and I, if I'm not mistaken, you don't have to get that huge fuel tank. I think you can get the same one I have, and you would get the same four, four and a half five hours, five hours that I get out of that tank of fuel. I think what they do is, if I'm not mistaken, I think they put a seat board in here, and then that gives you, again, room for that big storage thing like I have. And probably more room on this one at the end of the day so there you go guys price is about the same I think the x1 is slightly cheaper or at least it was when and I don't know why it was but I'm pretty sure it was just slightly cheaper than than the bullocks Super, super cool. Sixty one hours. Look how nice and clean. Super nice. Belts don't seem to be need to be tightened all that often. Troy's fuel filter is there. Yeah, so there's Troy's fuel pump. under there can you see it guys god only knows I'm probably not even pointing it in the right spot but yeah 
Nice quality. Nice quality build. The heart of the matter. Nice and sturdy. And you have the line. Provides a little bit of heat in the engine, in the intake in the winter. One thing I'll tell you, you can say about anyone, but you look at the quality and fresh breeze. I mean, I'm not here to plug them, but check these TIG welds out. It looks like Kylo did them. <laughs> Sorry, Kylo. I'm gonna keep picking on you until you plug my channel. <laughs> or at least say hello. <laughs> Super cool, so this turns a little bit as it flexes, as the buggy flexes. And then you have your trailing arm mounts right here. Yeah. Super nice. So there you are, guys. Um, Fresh Breeze X1 and the Fresh Breeze Bullocks. Finally, some flying videos to come soon, too, fellas. So there you go. Fellas, that is that. Um, of course, any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I try to answer everybody while my channel's small. <laughs> Hoping it'll grow. No, I want my channel to grow, guys. I, I want, I'd actually like my channel to really grow. I mean, I'm wishful thinking, but hey, I'm going to keep hitting it until I do, so... More adventures, a uh, new style of adventures coming soon too. So, anyways, guys, uh, catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>